Many patients ask if they should start Clomid after a vasectomy reversal. Well, this is a very good question, and the short answer is it probably doesn't do any good. Now, here's more background. Clomid is a drug that has been increasingly used over the past 10 to 20 years for male infertility. It works by tricking the brain into thinking that it is not producing enough testosterone or sperm. The brain then increases two hormones, FSH and LH, which then go on to stimulate the testicles to make more sperm and testosterone. Now with that background in mind, you'd think that Clomid would be a very good thing uh, post-reversal. However, the problem is that post-reversal, lower sperm counts are typically due to a blockage and delivery issue rather than a production issue. Uh, Clomid works by boosting production, uh, but it doesn't have any impact on helping with the delivery of sperm. In the far majority of cases of a vasectomy reversal, uh, the men are fertile and making large amounts of sperm, so further boosting those counts won't do anything to increase the amount of sperm that's in the ejaculate. Now the main issue relating to Clomid though is that in some cases, Clomid can actually have an opposite effect where sperm counts are decreased or even go to zero. This is called tachyphylaxis and it occurs more often when Clomid is taken for a longer period of time. Now the problem post-reversal is that we can't even tell if the lower counts are due to the Clomid or due to the area of repair narrowing down over time. So when you put all of that together, it usually doesn't make sense to go on Clomid uh, post-reversal. Now we hope this video has been helpful. If you have any further questions or any recommendations for videos, uh, please feel free to email us at email at mfp.clinic. Thank you very much.